Well, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. A new season at South Shields and we've got some new signings to go along with that. A lot of new things today. Hopefully the same old results though from last season. Hey guys, welcome to Football Manager 2019 and uh, part one of season three of The Journeyman with South Shields. I'm Joe if you're new around here or Captain Goodspeed and make sure you click that subscribe button for daily FM content. Coming up in today's episode we have uh, the first game of the season against Barrow um, in the Vanarama National League North. Now Barrow if you remember uh, towards the end of last season were the real bogey team. They were messing up everybody's hopes towards the end. You know their Stockport they beat on the final day. Stockport did eventually go up but uh, they beat Darlington 5-1 and, and they, they were just being a general spanner in the works but this season they don't seem to have many players do they so that is quite encouraging for us speaking of players we have signed quite a few this summer we will go through them all now first of all we'll, we'll go through um, the released players um, for the season Craig Baxter went on a free transfer has been at Shields for absolutely years but uh, was phased out of the team last year he was unhappy so he had to go uh, Jordan Barnett as well you might remember him we, we, we played him quite a lot and he, he underperformed so Bye bye. Uh, Miles Anderson, former Blackburn player, uh, back in the day, um, unfortunately uh, was phased out of the team towards the end of the season. Played solidly for us, and you know, he's now gone to uh, Nuneaton, so hopefully, he'll do something good there. Uh, Curtis Bateson, you might remember him, he scored quite a few goals for us 4 in 20, uh, but really, it's 4 in 10. Um, a 6.73 played out on the wing, can play a striker as well. And uh, generally played okay for us, was the hero in a couple of games, but had to go. Chris Evans has gone as well. Uh, Louis Squires has gone, Tom Devitt and Max Cartwright. They've all gone on free transfers. Um, but brought in, you know, only only six players. It's not as bad as last year, if you remember um, how many players we had to bring in, simply because we just didn't have the manpower so um, this is what what we've brought in and I think we've made some really really good signings Mohamed Diaby comes in from Huddersfield in the Premier League and played in their reserve team last year and actually played really really well uh, so he comes into our squad he's only 18 years old he's got some decent attributes not brilliant but uh, decent ones nonetheless but uh, he comes in as, as our well originally was our best central defender full star better than Dylan Morse uh, who who was our best player last year he's got the potential to be a, a national league central defender in the future which is where we see ourselves in the next couple of years so I think he'll be a, a good sign for the next couple of years uh, we got some much needed um, backup for the striker Jordan Hume comes in from um, Altrincham scored a, a lot of goals the last few years uh, at Alty <clears throat> and before that scored goals at, at Salford you know scores a goal every three games which is decent um, to be honest he's a decent player for National League North sides he's 31 years old he's got a bit of experience so hopefully um, he'll be a good sign and unfortunately that's made Carl Finnegan a little bit unhappy thinking that he's getting replaced Daniel Jarvis comes in as well, 22-year-old Englishman. He comes in from Barrow. Didn't actually play for them last year, which is a slight concern, but played for Stoke before that. Um, and he, he comes in as a central midfielder. He looks pretty good. Uh, can be a leading National League North player in the future, so definitely one for the next couple of years. Uh, Peter Jameson, we've brought him in from Blythe, uh, just as a backup goalkeeper. He's 27-year-old now, but uh, has played in the at this level quite extensively and hopefully he'll do a decent job uh, if called upon 
Uh, we brought in Luke Trotman. You might remember him from Darlington. Now, this was a bit of a weird one, obviously. Really, really poor when, when we were at Darlington, a 6.34. But uh, did okay last season and uh, comes in as a bit of a rotation option at right back uh, to, to sort of rotate with Murray and Thornley, who uh, have been have been pretty good uh, the last year or so. And finally, we've signed Aaron Cun Cunningham on a free transfer from um, Hartlepool, obviously quite a local side, and he looks very, very good. Some decent attributes once again. Uh, played some matches in League 2 last year. Now, I know he didn't play very well, but he has played at a much higher level than the one he's currently at. Um, he, he has been on loan at uh, both Blythe and Spennymoor in this division, so I, I'm actually quite excited about this one. He's He's got potential to, uh, to 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 go up to the National League in the next couple of years, which is really, really good. Four-star player, you know, and, and he should be good. Aaron Cunningham, remember the name. So, yeah, pre-season, we'll have a quick chat about that because I'm quite proud of it. Uh, we played some uh, some Scottish sides. We played Four Far and East Kilbride, uh, drawn one all and three one. We beat the Wolves under twenty threes. Now I think that's a really good result. Uh, we beat them two nil. So I don't know. Read that as you will. But Wolves are a Premier League side, um, and we beat their under twenty three side two nil, which I think was good. Uh, we lost three nil to Burnley, actual Burnley. You know you can see. Um, well, I'm not sure they played their, a full strength lineup, but uh, it, it wasn't their under 23 side. Only a 3 0 defeat. I, I don't think that was too bad. We certainly had some chances in that match as well to perhaps uh, get the get the victory over them. We beat Hartlepool 3 2. You know, a, a, a team in the division above. They played in like League Two last year, so I think that's a good result. And uh, yeah, I think I think generally it was a very good preseason. We we gelled the squad a little bit more, and uh, certainly in three of the matches we looked brilliant. That one we looked okay. First preseason game, so I'm I'm really happy with that. Uh, expectation wise, they they just want us to avoid relegation again. Um, Obviously, we finished sixth last year, so if I if we can build on that, that would be brilliant. Um, but we're not going to get sacked if uh, if we finish mid table or whatever, which is good. This is the team that we're going to uh, play today. Then we've got Brendan Pearson in goal with new signings Trotman and Diaby in defence alongside Dylan Morse and Cameron Simpson. We've then got Daniel Wright, Daniel Jarvis and Reese York in the middle with Brad Jackson and Luke Wall starting wide of Jordan Hume up top. So we've mixed in some of the old with the new uh, and I think we have strengthened over the summer which is good. You know, we need it to strengthen. Um, we need it to show what we were about. And and just uh, and and just strengthening key areas, and I think we have done that. We've got another striker now. Hopefully, he'll be good. We've still got Nico Muir knocking about the club. We've got that Reeves Buick, who you might have seen scored against Wolves. He's a young player, so I'm quite excited about this season. I think a lot will rest on this match. If we get thumped uh, away from home on the the first day of the season, that's that's obviously not good. Um, and we want to avoid that if possible. Here's Turner with the ball into the middle. It's away. But here's Walsh. Walsh with a chance. Sparks. It's a good block. K. Oh, it's a good save. But the rebound's there. And it has somehow gone in. Oh, it looks like it's been a bit of a devastating one there. Daniel Sparks has put it in. But what was quite worrying there is we had the ball a couple of times and couldn't get it away. We block it there, and then Kay with the shot. Good save by Pearson, and he actually made another save and almost tipped it round the post. But in fact, he tipped it into the net, and it's 1 0 already to Barrow. It is going to be a tougher season, I think, this year. Um, I'm not expecting to walk the league uh, per se, but uh, hopefully we can compete a little bit better. We know the team a bit a, a little better now. We know who can perform at this level now. So I'm hoping that uh, we should be okay. But here's Walsh gets it forward to Turner now. This is quite worrying how quickly they're opening uh, opening us up, and that is almost an identical goal. <sighs> Forcing the save from Pearson, and they're just there with the rebound, and it's 2 0 after 18 minutes. 
Hmm. You know, this isn't a side that's come down from the National League. This is a side we were in the same division as last year. <clears throat> and they're tearing us apart at the moment. Let's demand more from them. Because they've certainly not got off to the best of starts. Daniel Wright really having a poor game. Um, the defence not really doing well. The new boy, Diaby, not doing well. Uh, I don't know where the, the, the new guy is, Cunningham. I, 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 maybe he only joined the club today, actually. So I wasn't in the, in the team that I picked uh, beforehand. But um, he'll, he'll be about, don't worry. He'll be about in the next few matches. Daniel Wright's had a terrible game. I think we're going to have to bring on uh, Adam Chapman for the second half. But that's a really disappointing first 45 minutes. You know, I really wanted to, I don't know, make a statement in this opening game. And, and we just haven't had a chance yet, <laughs> which is which is worrying. But uh, you never know. We, we can come back into this. All, all it needs is a goal, really. And, uh, and we could quite easily be back into it. So... We'll just have to see. 60 minutes gone. And Carl Finnegan's going to have to come on. So the new boy didn't actually do anything, Jordan Hume, unfortunately. I don't think he's had much chance to do anything. But uh, hopefully Carl Finnegan will give us something a bit different. And now we, now we need to make our third and final substitution. I think it's going to be David Foley that comes on, the captain. Can he turn it around in this last 20 minutes? Come on. 15 minutes to go. We're going to go very attacking. I'm going to tell them to get creative. And it's been a rather boring first match. You know, we've conceded the two goals, but apart from that, nothing else has happened. Make that three goals conceded. That's got to be offside, though, and it is uh, disallowed. Absolutely miles offside. <laughs> Look at that. That was crazy. If the, if that uh, had been awarded, oh, I would have been uh, giving it everything in that post-match press conference. But uh, it looks like we're we're going to come to a a defeat, which is a, a big shame. And we haven't even shown a chance yet, which is um, worrying. As I say, you know, to, th this isn't a side that is expected to to win the league this year. Um, albeit we are away from home, we're, we're obviously much better at home than we are away, but you still have to say that's a disappointment. But let me know what you think down in the comments to the new signings. Uh, what else do you think we need? Uh, you know, probably another striker would be good. Um, you know, just for a bit of variety up there, a, a, a striker with a proven goal scoring record, which is tough to get with a club with this reputation but if you have enjoyed this episode then make sure you do leave a like down below really does help me out it means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel for daily fm content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye